Boat racing today, man. Everybody's out. My main man here. The guy who was working on my boat. Sports! Hi, Buntag. You racing today? Uh-uh. Yeah, my man's ready to go. Got his boat racer going here. I think it's going to be a lot of boats out here today. See, Buland, they having a fiesta over there. So, check them out. They're dragging up on shore. Boys out there swimming, jumping off the piers. It's a good morning. I wanted to do a little quick cap. And talk a little bit about my video yesterday. Uh, I got a lot of responses. Um, Thanks for your support and stuff, but I want to clarify a couple things. Um, number one, my whole video was about how women change pretty much as far as, you know, their attitude is, you know, us becoming, you know, adult men and then all of a sudden we're like a child or whatever. And my wife has chosen to go back to the U.S. and she's not a bad woman in any way. She is a good woman. She has taken care of my kids, and now she is going back to work. Uh, it did upset me a little because she did just leave the kids, you know, to go back when we have an opportunity here. They're testing out my boat here, by the way. So I'll finish this here just one second. Yeah, boy. messing with my man. Sports! This is the diesel engine on here. I'm in South Carolina again on a redneck ride. Big race today, huh? Uh -oh. Uh -oh, they got a uh, fiesta down there soon, don't they? In Cebu uh -oh. Land, 12th and 13th. Uh -oh, yeah. Uh-uh. Oh, she's slipping out there, boards. Boards. These are little racing boats. Things will fly, man. Take a little walk here on the beach. Such a nice morning here. So you see, I don't use a thimble or none of that horse shit. I can hold it steady enough. I can shoot a damn 50 cal rifle. I can hold this here, believe me. It's not a big deal. So anyway, let's get back to the subject at hand. Um, my wife actually, we had a huge argument last night. She, uh, and I don't like to do personal, but this really needs to be clarified. Uh, she was upset because she thought everybody thought bad about her. Um, I was upset because, she, like I say, she had left and I thought we were selling everything and coming here and staying and she chose to go back and work, you know, for a couple reasons. One is, you know, so she can help her family. And I think a, a little bit of it too is, you know, she's, she's tired, you know, um, Man, it's been a long haul. I mean, she went from being a college student who was studying nursing, who quit. So I'm gonna give you the full story here. Because my daddy always said, said there's three sides to every story. There's your side, my side, and then there's the truth. So uh, uh, 
I do love her, you know, and she knows this. Um, but she's she she gave up school and everything to raise our kids while you know i was working in the u.s going back and forth and then we went to u.s and yes filipinas do change and i think maybe that's what all women when they start getting their independency you know as far as working and see that's really hard for somebody like me because i'm southern born and southern bred and um i i don't like being told what to do uh i don't like um somebody you know and i know a lot of people say you know i'm just trying to help and if you know who i am or whatever i like i said before i'll listen to 10 different people i'll form my own opinion and once my mind is set i do not want to change it because all it does is break focus for me so anyway it's just the thing that i was mainly talking about was how you know it seems like i can't my ideas are not good you know, in her eyes, you know, and, and she wants to change this and change that, but she's always been supportive. She's still supportive now. You know, she's working. Uh, she sends the kids, you know, their allowances and helps out and stuff like that. And she is there by herself. She is not there looking for somebody else. I did not mean to give that impression, if that's what I did. Uh, I, it really hurt her feelings and I do apologize for that. I'm only human, um, and I did not intend for anything as far as that video to imply that, that she was a bad woman and that she will leave me. I realize there's a lot of guys out there that that has happened to them, and it has happened to me before, as you've seen in my videos where I met a Filipina and she was pregnant by somebody else, and she used me, you know, to try and get a ticket to go to the United States, and I'm sure if she would have made it, you know, she would have been one of those that burned me to the wall or whatever, but I was lucky enough to get out of it, get her divorce, and, you know, meet the wife that I have now. <clears throat> so, um, uh, please, guys, don't, don't beat her up, you know. Uh, she is a good woman. I think she, like I say, she's tired. So now she finally gets a chance to where she can kind of go and relax and live over there and work which is primarily what she's doing and she can just take a breath you know to where she's um she can relax a little bit not have all the stresses of the kids and the house and the cleaning and all that stuff and that that's not a big deal for me because i can do it and me and my, my kids are old enough that we can handle it here so um um be patient guys you know and and um Thanks for all your support, but please help support her too because I know she's away from from us, you know, and she's chosen that. You know, it scares the hell out of me sometimes because I think she she might decide she likes it there more, and then what do we do? You know, we're not moving back. So what is what's going to happen there? That's the part too that scares me. You know, if, if she decides it she likes that and she's going to continue to work then is it going to be just a few weeks out of the year so you know this is something else that is to be considered because there are a lot of foreigners that i know that come here in the beginning our original dream was we wanted to live in the philippines and meet a girl in the philippines and stay here in the philippines well most times 75 percent that doesn't work out so you wind up going back and then you if you're smart you'll do like we did we busted ass and believe me she is hard working she is not lazy by any means she used to work on the construction jobs with me and our business and she's the first to get on the ladder and the, you know she's pushing me through lunch about come on let's get back to work and you know she'd work late she'd work through lunches she would work sometimes for no pay you know, so uh, I cannot say anything bad, you know, about her. I mean, I think we're we're just at a point to where after 18 years, we're kind of exhausted, you know. And so anyway, getting back to what I was saying, now uh, my dream originally was to be here. And uh, so now I'm here, you know, and now she's there, you know. So now something is just kind of off. It's a bead off plum, you know, it ain't level right now. So we're trying to figure that out. 
So um, please guys be nice, you know. I'm seeing, you know, this YouTube thing, I swear I don't know what it is. And I'm not talking about anything related to my video or comments or anything like that on my channel, but I mean, I just watched a channel where it's another YouTuber that is just ripping other YouTubers up. <clears throat> and by the same token, he says, oh, I'm a Christian. Well, if he's a Christian, then the Bible says, do not judge others. So what the hell are you judging other people for, man? You know, ain't you got enough stuff in your own life to think about and, and worry about? Why has everything got to be so damn negative with everybody? I get comments from people that are just stupid. You know, it's like way past. It takes it to a whole nother level than Forrest Gump. You know, just mean shit, you know. You know, because it's like they ain't got nothing to do. The only way they're going to make their self b feel better is by beating somebody else up. But anyway, this guy's sitting there talking shit about some of the nicest vloggers here that I know. You know, and I don't, I don't understand it. Mama always taught me, you know, manners and everything. And one of the things she said, if you can't say nothing nice, don't say nothing at all. You know, why has it got to be that way? And, you know, so I'm, there's been a few people I've already hid from my channel because, you know, they're just, in my opinion, they're just dick smacks. You know, you can't do anything with them. You know, they're just going to constantly keep bombarding you or whatever. So, you know, I ain't going to tolerate that shit. You know, this is me. This is who I am. You know, I'm, I'm high and I'm low. I damn have funny moments. I have serious moments. I have a Southern accent. If I speak with that Southern accent, if I you know, I don't like nobody trying to pick me apart and recreate me. That ain't me. I am who I am. You know, so, you know, for the guys out there that don't like it, hell, man, unsubscribe. You know, you ain't paying. You know, nobody's paying me. You know, I don't, I, I'm not even, I'm monetized, but I'm not even, I ain't even signed up to get stuff you know in your bank accounts or nothing yet because i don't really give a shit you know i can shut the whole channel down tomorrow and i got some good memories i mean i'm doing this for fun i'm doing this for posterity i'm doing this and hope it helps my kids in the future and my family gets an idea and they get to see me more on here because it's like an everyday video so you know I just don't understand why people's got to beat other people up. Is that the society that we've come to? You know, to where everybody's got to be mean? You know, I call them keyboard warriors. And, you know, they'll sit behind their keyboard and attack and shit like that. Like I say, if I meet them on the street, I'd dot that eyeball in a minute, man. You know, meet me anywhere, any fucking time. Because down south, that's the way we do it, man. You got something to say, you say it toe to toe would be, man, hell, we got a disagreement, shit. We'll bulldog down right there, you know, and then let's get the shit out of the way, you know. It's just like a, a freaking restaurant. You know, if you don't like the freaking food, man, hell, get up and walk out. Don't keep going back, you know. So, um, thanks everybody for, I, I think I've got a great uh, subscribers. You know, I've, everybody's so positive, you know, and thanks for all your support in all my situations. Like I say, I'm not perfect. I damn sure ain't Jesus, you know, and I don't want to be because I never get an ounce of sleep. So um, you guys hang in there, man, and um, hope y'all enjoy the videos and um, just keep rocking on, man. I'm sure Daddy always said everything happens for the best. Everything will work out in the end, and I'm sure it will. You know, things just take time, you know. So um, everybody have a great day. The G-Man's out here on the water today. I got my boys. Check them out. They are ready. Sea Boulan, like I say, has a um, fiesta going on. And uh, <clears throat> we're going to be in, trying to go down there for that. My daughter's got a birthday coming up in a few days. So we're going to do something for that. Probably go down to Oppo Island, which is a super nice place. Let her have her fun. Yeah, that's my buddy Sardo. Oh, look at it, man. It is uh, 7.30 in the morning here. It is so beautiful.
So remember, dude, this is why we're here. You know, we're here to enjoy paradise. We're here to make a better life for the ones we love. We're here for a better life for our kids. You know, we don't give a shit about the politics. We don't give a shit about beating up other people's channels. If you don't like each other channels, dude, just don't do it. You know, it's just, it's wrong, man. That's wrong. You know, you, you gotta be solid, man. You gotta be sincere. You gotta have your life. You know, and you gotta go to bed at night knowing you have no regrets. You know, for this right here, uh, the Philippines, you know, this is my, my coffee in the morning and this is my chill time in the evening. This is what I get high on now. You know, I get high on the waves and, you know, the people and, you know, the way things interact and the simplicity of this place. That's the thing, you know, because you gotta keep it simple. Keep it simple, don't get weighed down with the anxieties of life because that's what'll kill you, stress. So you brothers and sisters out there, y'all keep a hanging on. I'm gonna keep moving on because I ain't had nothing to eat yet. I'm getting hungry because I love eating, I love food. Do me some egg sandwiches. I went, broke down and bought a toaster the other day. There she is, always working. You'll be in the next video. Where's them babies at? Can I go see them? Uh-uh. See these babies in here? Bob Marley. Bob Marley. Bob Marley. <laughs> Twins. Bob Marley. Hey, guys. What are you doing? Huh? Look at there. Cute as they can be. You is a cute boy. Yes, you are. You a cute boy. Uh. That high speed or low speed? High speed. Uh uh. All right, guys, you enjoy the day, as I will too. Hasta la vista, baby. If anybody knows, you know. Thanks again, guys, for all the support. Have a great day in the G-Mana. See you soon. Maayo. Buntag.